These series are based on adventures in Linux and KDE Blog, by Nate Graham, and I'm only covering the most important changes. For full change logs, you should check on the blog posts. On network connections we can now see a QR code, for easy sharing with others. Only that I don't have a wireless, so just imagine it. We can now sync our personal settings for fonts, cursors, color schemes etc, to the SDDM login screen, ensuring a unified look and feel, from boot to shutdown. K-Runners unit conversion, can now display binary sizes, like megabytes and gigabytes. Okular, has now an open containing folder feature, so we can easily find the on-disk location of PDFs we are reading. If we now minimize spectacle, the take a new screenshot button will have turned into a cancel button, that displays a progress bar on how much time is left before the screenshot is taken. There are also various bug fixes, like rubber band selections in Dolphin and menus, but that was pretty much all for week 80. There are various redesigns and preferences windows, so the UI looks more modern and it is consistent across different modules, but I'm probably missing something so I can't really fully show these changes. But hey! They are there! Wallpaper slideshow, now allows us to set the sort order, rather than always being random. I believe that actually failed, because Rika was first in line, but whatever. Something more I want to show you. When slideshow is enabled, then we can change images directly from desktop menu, and even open them on an image app. The night color is now a manual mode. But I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do, because we can't change anything. But my very favorite is the location mode. So, now you know? If someone asks you, where you live, you will tell them your latitude and longitude. Plasma widget positioning code, has been completely rewritten, and that improves location mnemonics. And moreover, it is now touch friendly. Discover sidebar is now full of colorful icons, based on feedback from the Plasma mobile notes. Also, that spin animation is now slower, and rotates clockwise. Back to settings and wallpapers, the Unsplash plugin now lets us select what category we want, or all of them. wasn't very cute. Let me demonstrate you, what cuteness really looks like. 